Hi, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and today we've got the AT&T iPhone 4 on the left and the Verizon iPhone on the right. So we're just going to do a quick speed test, and we're going to use the app called Speed Test. So I'll go ahead and open that, and we'll do a couple different tests just to see what kind of speeds we get. So you can see we have full bars on the Verizon and close to full bars on the AT&T phone. goes back and forth, but... Uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of speeds we get. Now we're both on 3G, we're not on Wi-Fi. So, 3G, and let's see what we get. Now in my test before with uh, Android phones, I tend to get a little bit faster on AT&T than I do with Verizon, uh, but that doesn't mean call quality isn't better on Verizon. So, we have an average of 2008 kilobits per second or 2 megabits per second roughly and the Verizon's still going we'll see what we get we'll do a couple different tests to see this see what kind of speeds we get so in the first one Verizon has 1362 kilobits per second down 228 up so AT&T is 2008 and 687 up so a little bit faster on AT&T Let's do it again and see what kind of speeds we get. That time we're a little bit faster on Verizon. And we both have full bars on both phones. The, the towers near here are, are fairly close to one another, so there should be pretty fair test. Or there should be a pretty fair test, rather. All right. So AT&T finished first, a little bit slower this time. It looks like the upload's a little faster than Verizon. There we go. So 1678 down on Verizon, 1275 down on AT&T, and 650 up on AT&T, and 238 up on Verizon. We'll do one more test and see what we get the third time. And that should be, uh, we'll see what we can kind of average it out as. I'd say they're pretty even for the most part. The upload uh, obviously is a little bit faster on AT&T. And let's see what we get. For whatever reason, it finishes faster on AT&T. And that could be due to the upload, I guess. And we're almost complete on Verizon. So... Overall, AT&T seems a little bit faster. This time, again, we have 1975 down on AT&T, 655 up. Those are the averages. 1250 down on Verizon here, 239 up. So they put in a new tower, just so you know. It's actually, the Verizon tower is probably a little bit closer, but I think that's a good comparison. So I don't think you'll see much of a difference if you're using the phone regularly, day to day, until you start uploading videos or pictures to Facebook or something like that. So uh, overall, I think that's pretty much it. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.